Hey guys, I know you guys wanted me to do a video of a suck out. So here I'm on a 10 value four port tap. Um, in the customer's home, I have a suck out around 860 megahertz and we tracked it back to the tap. And you can see it right there. Sucked out, look at it just roll off. So the channel's here. We move the cursor down into the valley of death. You can see the MER will start to drop the level drops and the BER starts to show up a little bit error rate 140 is in really bad shape and then as we climb back out of it MER starts to go up BER starts to go up and it starts looking better until we're good so what I noticed we have an equalizer here this gives me an opportunity to uh, knock down the uh, lower frequencies because they tend to get a little too strong as you get further from amplifiers um, because low frequencies don't attenuate off as fast as higher frequencies. This also gives me a chance to raise the transmit because this has a diplex filter in it and I can separate forward and return and put in um, a pad to raise the transmits because if not, transmits will be way too low um, on these low value taps. So I'm going to plug this in to the input of this, check it there, and a full scan does not indicate a suck out it is gone so and i've already pulled this thing out and checked to see if it was bad and so far it's good to go so i'm just going to swap it out here with a new one and we're going to check the output And it is gone, no more suck out. So there's something wrong with this equalizer, causing it to lose a little section of frequencies there at 860, 860 megahertz or so. So, let's see, 890. So pretty good little pizza slice missing. So, and there you go. So anything that causes suck out could be electronics, could be just loose connections, um, burnt connections, just anything not making a good contact, not passing that frequency range through. So there you go. Thanks for watching.